It's a similar phenomenon to protein shakes where the protein shakes that are synthetically flavored, right, with artificial sweeteners and flavors, and it's some wild flavor. Maybe it's, uh, you know, fucking red velvet birthday bullshit. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I'm Evan Santapani, and I'm gonna be your host for the next few minutes on AMA. In case you're not aware, also AMA videos coming from Lee Priest, Antoine Vaillant, Guy Cisternino, Chris Tuttle, James Hollingshead, and Milos Sarchev. Pretty impressive lineup of guys, huh? Uh, so be sure to check out their videos as well. There's something I wanna talk about today. I don't wanna say it drives me crazy or that it irks me, but I feel it needs to be addressed, right? So. I work with people all the time, I coach people. You know, when I construct a protocol and I list out a diet, I provide a diet that's basically what I would do, right? If I'm trying to get in shape, I give them a diet what I would eat to get in the best shape possible. Or not what I would eat, but what I think they should eat, right? To get in their ideal condition. And I realize that everything is a process, right? So when I start with an individual, I'll have them provide me with their current diet, right? Cause I'm not gonna just go in and turn their whole world upside down and do a complete 180 and give them something that I know they have no chance of following or complying with, right? Because that's no way to get a result. Progress and results are only gonna be as good as a person's ability to adhere to the program. A lot of times people will come back and they'll say, man, you know, do you have any recipes? Like what, what can I do to make the food taste better? Blah, 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 blah. I always have to stop myself because the reality is I've been in this a long time. Right? I've been prepping my food, eating the same shit more or less <laughs> for the last 15, 20 years. You know, but this will be coming from someone who doesn't like fish. They're not crazy about turkey. It's like, you know what, dude? Honestly, I've been doing this a long time. I really feel like saying to people is you need to just get over it. You have to just accept the fact that you're eating for purpose and you gotta just eat the food and shut the fuck up and get on with your day. It's not your last meal. There's gonna be food that you're gonna consume after this, at points during this, maybe you have yourself a refeed and the food's gonna be really, really pleasant. I mean, first and foremost, if you're gonna sit there and try to come up with recipes every week for your food, you're wasting your time, all right? Food prep is a pain in the ass, right? It's something nobody wants to do. No one wants to take the time for it. The key to having success with it, developing a systematic approach, something that's easy to duplicate. So when I prep food for the week, generally prep enough to have three whole food meals a day, and I'll cook my breakfast, and I'll cook my dinner. So I have five meals a day, um, but I'm gonna prepare three meals a day times seven days, Twenty enough food for 21 meals. Those three meals a day, guess what? They're all the fucking same. <laughs> Meaning, at least the protein and the vegetable component of each, it's the same meal. I will add different carbohydrates and fats to it, to each of those, but the base meal is chicken, cauliflower, and broccoli. And you know what I do? I take the chicken out of the package, I butterfly it, I spray the grill with Pam, and I cook it. I don't put any seasoning on it, not even salt. I don't even give a fuck. Resign yourself to the fact that you're eating chicken or turkey or fish, whatever it is, okay? And it's gonna be what it's gonna be. My suggestion is you focus on good quality stuff. The best thing you can do is rather than try to use sauces and seasonings and shit like that to make it not taste like chicken, just get something that tastes like good chicken, okay? And guess what, you won't mind it so much. Same thing with your veggies. Get a nice head of broccoli, some, some cauliflower. If you cook it the right way, you don't turn it to mush. It's not that bad, man. It's not that great, but it's also not that bad. It's totally doable. Get yourself used to eating it, and guess what? Eventually, you'll fucking like it. Same thing when it comes to fish. There's a big difference between stuff buying stuff that's previously frozen as opposed to fresh. The reality is when it comes to a lot of fish, they will put it in some type of solution prior to freezing, especially with something like cod. Right? Cod is kind of a kind of a go-to fish for a lot of bodybuilders. It's light, not bad tasting, very low fat, high in protein, uh, and it's readily available. Unfortunately, a lot of the cod that's available has been previously frozen. So when you eat it, the taste and the texture is very, very different from what it would be if it were fresh cod. My advice, get fresh cod. Another thing you gotta realize, you're being a pussy. 
All right, you are being a pussy. This meal, just like the next meal and the meal after, each is just, it serves a utility purpose, all right? It's to create progress. It's to get you where you wanna go. You just gotta eat it and get on with the show. Like I said, it's not, every meal is not gonna knock your socks off. It's not the last supper. Eat the food, shut the fuck up and move on. Another thing I found is that it's a similar phenomenon to protein shakes where the protein shakes that are synthetically flavored, right, with artificial sweeteners and flavors, and it's some wild flavor. Maybe it's a, uh, you know, fucking red velvet birthday bullshit cake. Have a serving of it. You're like, wow, this stuff is amazing. And then four days in, you're like, wow, this stuff is fucking disgusting. Get it away from me. When you consume food that's over flavored, you're probably gonna get tired of it a lot faster. I just resigned myself, I'm eating chicken, I'm gonna have some broccoli, some cauliflower, maybe I'll have a couple tablespoons of peanut butter, and it is what it is. The, the peanut butter is gonna taste really nice, the chicken is gonna be doable, the veggies are just gonna help me to swallow the chicken, and that's it, man. If you eat this way, all right, one of the perks, you're actually gonna improve your taste. The longer you eat a bland, simple, plain diet, the more you're gonna begin to find pleasure in like foods you wouldn't suspect. The average person has a problem sitting down and eating a meal that's just chicken and veggies, maybe it's an avocado added to it. They have a problem with that because they're so fucking desensitized. They've been eating so much crap. Food that's doused in salt and marinades and sauces and all sorts of happy horse shit, okay? Once you get rid of all that, you're gonna reach a point where you say, wow, I just had myself an orange. It's been in the refrigerator. Wow, it was cold and it was fresh and it was sweet and it was juicy and it was a real treat. Your average person doesn't think an orange is a treat. A lot of these seasonings, the garlic, the onion, all this stuff, if that jives well with you, that's fine. But a lot of people have problems with indigestion, reflux, heartburn, and a lot of people, once they cut out a lot of these seasonings, because those are the two most common uh, ingredients in a lot of these seasoning products, garlic, onion, they start to feel better. And also what's probably gonna happen, your cravings are gonna dissipate. You're gonna find that each meal isn't gonna be so great, but like you're okay with it. And you're gonna stop craving all this shit. People, when they consume all these artificial flavors and sweeteners and things like that, as I understand it, when you consume you know, foods that are artificially sweetened and flavored, there's a chemical response in your brain to that consumption, right? It's that reward system. And it is somewhat addictive. And the more you consume that shit, the worse it gets. And the less you consume it, the better it becomes. Best thing you can do, don't consume any of that garbage. Keep it out of your diet. Give your body the right macros, plenty of them, right? And the right micronutrients. When you're eating food that is micronutrient dense, I find I have a lot less cravings. I'm not saying, you know, don't indulge in some recipes if it works well for you and you know you're not gonna get sick of it halfway through the week or it's not gonna blow a bunch of your time. Just do what you need to do for compliance, all right? It's all about the food just being good enough for you to take it down and get on to the next meal. Doesn't have to give you a fucking orgasm in your mouth. Just eat the food, get on with the show. Appreciate you guys for watching. Hope you found this helpful. I'll talk to you next time.